A common problem that a lot of users have when they first start mining is Windows automatically disables, removes, or quarantines their miners. So what you want to do is you actually want to exclude this from your Windows Defender, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. In this example, we're gonna use Unminable Miner because it's a very common application users use to mine with. So we're just gonna to go to the website and we're gonna download it. And it should start to download. We might get a warning and here it is. It sees it as dangerous. So we can click on show all. And in here we can say, keep dangerous file. Now miners typically are flagged because of the way it uses the system. So uh, this is completely normal. And what we need to do to further use this is we want to create a folder on our desktop that we can add to an exclusion list for the antivirus. So we created a new folder here, we called it mining. And then we're gonna go into our antivirus software, go in here, and this is Windows Defender that we're looking at right now. We're gonna to go to virus and threat protection, and then we're gonna scroll down to virus and threat protection again and manage settings. Click on this, scroll down a little bit further. We're looking for exclusions. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a folder in here. So we're gonna click on this, click on add an exclusion and then select folder. Inside here, we're gonna to go to our desktop and we're gonna select the mining folder. Here it is. We're gonna select it and say yes to the prompt. And there we go. So now this folder has been added to the exclusion list. Microsoft Windows Defender will allow it to run and we can close out of the Windows security folder. In our downloads folder, we can just open up this compressed file and we're gonna drag and drop it into our mining folder. And now you'll notice that you won't get any prompts from Windows Security about any malicious software. You can close out of all your folders, go into the mining folder, and then run the miner as you'd want. Usually you'd right click on it and run as administrator because miners require administrative privileges to run. So yes to the prompt and the miner will begin running and you can start continuing on from here. And that's how you add a miner to the Windows 10 exclusion list so it's not alerted by any security software. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this video was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you want more information like this. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.